morning we are starting second year today and i'm doing a weekly vlog the weekly vlogs are back finally i feel like this summer has gone on just a little bit too long which is not something i would normally think but we're here it's the 4th of october and second year is about to start i'm going to my first in-person lecture in like so i graduated for the first time in 2018 and i do think that's the last time i was in a lecture theater other than for like a small tutorial so i'm quite excited guys i've not had this experience in a long time i'm gonna walk into campus now i'm meeting malika at the bus stop and we are catching the bus to the hospital because our lecture is at the hospital but yeah i'm gonna leave now because i want to make sure i have time to get a prep um but yeah i'm quite excited i need to get these nails oh my god they're so long today will just be an intro i think i also have work later i'm going to work on campus after my lectures are finished because my new job at the uni is quite flexible they let me work half days which is amazing so basically i'll show you but i'm going to the lectures and then i'm going to work on campus in the student hub <laughs> So Malika is running late, I'm not sure if she's gonna make it. We will see. She's got about six minutes to get here for the bus. Oh, there she is. Hey, yeah. Hello. Hey, Hello. Yeah. Hello. I'm excited. I am, are you? Like, yeah, like actually going in. Like, no, I know. It feels really weird. In the middle at the back. I'll let you go. Me first? <laughs> well, like here? Or like behind there? Oh, it's quite dark in here, you know. Right, we made it. Hello. We're on time. Introduction. That's gonna focus. It's not gonna focus out. There we go. Intro to second year. We've done it. First Hello. lecture. Good. Look who's here. It's no, he's back. Welcome he's back. back. The one we call Pumple. The one you've been waiting for. You've missed yeah. his face. Well, half his face. It's all of his face. How did you find the first lecture? We just said that entire lecture could have been an email. It could have literally. I could have napped. Yeah, Honestly, it, it was an hour and a half, no break in the middle. <laughs> but now we have to quickly exit the hospital because we're not allowed to hang around here. I don't know what to yeah. do. What to do now? Well, I'm going back to campus. Should we go to campus? Baby! Hey, did you find that? You know, half the time I was fighting sleep. So was <laughs> it was really dark part. in there, and I was like, it was I could dark, just know. It was cold, and I was just like, I want to see. Did you learn anything? I learned that YouTube is going to be a hassle. Yeah, there's a lot of admin this year. After finishing the intro lecture, I headed back to campus from the hospital to start my shift at 1 at the student hub. Right guys, so I'm at work now. This is Beth. Say hi to Beth. We've actually worked together all summer, haven't we? Mm -hmm. It's yeah. been a journey. Yeah. So we were on the accommodation hotline and now we're just working at the student hub mm -hmm. handing out ID cards to new students. The student hub is essentially the reception of the uni and it deals with all sorts of student queries from finance to accommodation and well-being so there's a lot going on but on this particular shift I was handing out ID cards to new students and then for the second half of the shift I got put on answering accommodation emails for the rest of the afternoon. Right guys that is the end of the day. How was your day Jonathan? Oh magical. Magical. Fun filled hours. Lots of emails. We sent a lot of emails this afternoon. I'm kind of glad that's over to be honest, I was getting a bit bored. And now I'm going to head home because I still have a lecture to do, which is quite upsetting. See ya. See you tomorrow. I got home at about 5.30 and immediately got started on the live lecture that I missed while I was at work. And this was an intro to the anatomy of the kidneys. This year, all the live lectures are recorded, which means I can be a bit more flexible with when I work. So it is quite handy. After finishing the lecture, Jack and I headed to do our weekly shot. Hi guys, we're at Lidl. Jack said he's not in the mood to be on camera, so we're gonna respect that. Yeah. The next morning, I was up early for another half day working nine to one at the student hub. I spent the entire morning on emails again, which was kind of boring, but you know, it's a good way to earn money. 
I had lunch in prep before heading to the library to do my lectures for the day. This year, we still have to limit numbers of students who go to the hospital. So when our lectures are at the hospital, the year group has been split into groups A, B and C. And we alternate which group is at the live lecture and then the other two groups have to watch the live stream instead, which was what I was doing today. These lectures were on the glomerulus and how the kidney filters stuff, which I sort of find confusing because I don't really remember covering the kidney that much at school. After being very confused by the kidneys, I managed to find the energy for a quick gym sesh, but I did make a rookie mistake because I went there at five, which is the busiest time of day for the uni gym. When I got home, I collapsed on the sofa and spent an embarrassing amount of time scrolling through TikTok. So I've just had a message from my manager and she's asked me to post one of the TikToks I made tonight. She sends me like the caption and the hashtag she wants me to use. I just have to post it. But I made this one like four or five weeks ago. But they have to like get the uni to approve it and stuff because obviously it goes out on the official university TikTok. But it's been approved this one so she's asked me if I can post it sometime this evening. And it's six o'clock now so I think that's around this evening. So this TikTok is you know you're a Southampton student when and yeah it's meant to be just like relatable things for southampton students i always get really nervous posting these on the official tiktok because i don't know i just feel like it's not my account so i don't know are we ready it's going up oh there we go here it is i mean that is me to be fair so jack has kindly agreed to cook dinner this evening and i'm gonna clean the kitchen while he does that that's fine you lazy cow what's on the menu tonight Chuck him. Chuck him. Jack and I tend to alternate who cooks dinner, although he tends to burn things less, so I prefer it when he cooks. Down in your heart. We watched Squid Game with dinner, which we are obsessed with, and then I got ready to head out to a So Bar Tuesday for their infamous one pound doubles. <laughs> Right guys, I'm up and about. Oh, I woke up, I went back to sleep, I missed my 10 a.m. lectures. But yeah, it is a bit of a shame that I missed the first proper lecture in person. I've ordered a delivery McDonald's because I'm hoping it will cure me. I'm gonna do my lectures I missed this morning now. They're all around, themed around the kidneys and clearance of the kidneys and things like that. I'm a bit annoyed at myself really. It's a really nice day. It's really sunny. I should have been on campus. Do you know what? I had a really good time last night and that's the first like big night out I've had in a while. So I had a good time. So here's what I missed this morning. I missed three lectures. I missed a 48 minute one on sodium and potassium balance. Oh my McDonald's is here. Yeah, this isn't all for me, some of it is for Jack, so, um, although most of it is for me, to be fair. This is mainly why I got McDonald's, because the Diet Coke is the thing that just cures my hangovers, so... Basically, I got an entire McDonald's just for the Diet Coke. I did have a voucher, so, yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, so I missed a lecture on protein handling in the kidney, which is 35 minutes, sodium and potassium balance, which was 48 minutes, and water regulation, another 40 minutes. So this is the fun that is waiting for me now. I'm gonna eat my McDonald's while I watch the lectures. Um, this is my punishment. Good morning guys. I'm not hungover today, but my day isn't going much better. The queue for prep 
was too long so I couldn't get coffee. And then what else happened? Something else happened. Uh, you nearly missed the bus. Nearly missed the bus. I don't have any food and we're not allowed to go to the um, cafes and shops in the hospital because of COVID. So now I'm here at the hospital for like six hours without any coffee, any food. Although Harry has said he's going to give me pizza, pizza, which is really kind of him. I'm quite upset and... Uh, yeah, just not a good start to the day, really. Our first lecture on Thursday was histology of the kidneys, followed by one on development of the kidneys. I changed up my note-taking style this year, and instead of writing out notes, I'm just going to annotate directly onto the slides on my iPad. And this is just to save time in live lectures, because now we're actually at the lecture, I can't pause when I want, so... I think this is going to be a more efficient way to take notes, but I will update you on how I'm finding it later on in the year. Two lectures done. Now we have a four hour break <laughs> to our tutorial. <laughs> break. A break. Although I do have a tutorial to prepare for, so I'm going to do that now. Because we had such a long gap between our lectures and the tutorial, I decided I did have time to walk to the big M&S and I treated myself to a meal deal before heading back to the hospital library to prepare for my physiology tutorial. The tutorial was based around markers for renal function and there was lots of maths so it took me a while to get my head around it. Once I'd finished the prep I still had over an hour to the tutorial so I started making Anki flashcards for my lectures for that week and also watched a few YouTube videos on the kidneys until it was time to head to our tutorial down the corridor at 3. <laughs> So we've just come out of our tutorial. Physiology was in, not interesting. It was okay. Learned all about GFRs. And for you non-medics out there, that's glomerular filtration rate. But we're heading home now after a very long day at the hospital. Hi, Chloe. How have you found the first week back? Good. I think it's been hard. And I feel like it's hard to get into a routine again. But it's been good. It is. It is. I feel like I don't know anything, but... But you do. We did just have a really long summer. Should we cross the road without getting killed? I'm about to go and play netball. I haven't played netball in about two years and I'm also not very good at netball. Also, I have really long nails and I'm really worried that something bad's gonna happen. But I need to go. I've told people I'm gonna go. I'm going to netball. After a very fun netball session, we decided to head to the pub for a few drinks. Hi, hi, hi Ellie. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Can you welcome to the vlog? <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna be annoying me. Welcome the vlog, everyone. <laughs> oh my god, I love this. Hi, Belle. <laughs> How was your first day as uh, captain? It was very fun. Did you enjoy the session? I honestly thought it was great. I had a great time. I can't wait to come back next week. Yes. Yeah. We've got cake here. <laughs> Friday morning, I decided I wanted a change of scene, so set up camp in my favourite coffee shop, Muse, to get my pre-recorded lectures done. This year, we have to do a whole module on research methods to set us up for our third year research project. At the moment, it is just lots of intro stuff to things that I've already covered in my undergrad, but it is always good to refresh my memory on things. I got myself a vegan sausage roll and worked through the three lectures we've been set and then caught the bus to the hospital for the final lectures of the week, which were pathology of, you guessed it, the kidneys. Clary looks so studious. <laughs> <laughs> After uni finished at four, I headed home for a quick cup of tea and some dinner before starting my Friday night shift at the pub at six. I managed to convince my manager to let me leave early, so clocked out at around 11 p.m. and then ended up staying for a few drinks with the chefs, which is always fun. I did forget to end the vlog, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. <laughs>